Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Filmora 13 by Wondershare. That's right, the video editing software I previously used for a lot of my videos. Today we'll be looking at the latest update featuring AI technology. That's right, they have a lot of new AI stuff including AI music, AI thumbnails, AI text-to-speech. There's a lot of different things that we can go ahead and see today, uh, which actually is pretty unique. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and just dive right into it. So uh, obviously before anything else, if you guys wanna learn more about them, Check out the link down in the description and without further ado let's just go ahead and take a look all right so for starters this here is our software um i actually just went ahead and uploaded this quick little clip here called iron man update i haven't actually uploaded this video yet but i wanted to show you like it's kind of kind of like a little fuzziness to it and there's some things that we can technically enhance so let's just use this little button here so this here is our co-pilot aka our little artificial intelligence buddy that we can go and ask questions so this will give us tips and tricks on how to go ahead and enhance our video or if there's something you needed to know like how do I uh, get rid of different audio clips etc like that so uh, in this case here I want to ask it how do I enhance my video so it is less fuzzy and uh, less uh, I don't know uh, hazy hazy is that a word I don't know let's try this Okay, all right, so to enhance it so it's less fuzzy and hazy, you can use auto enhance. So this will tell you exactly what you have to do. And then from there, I can simply click the button and it'll automatically add that to it. You see, there was a quick little change. So now it added its own little auto enhancement to kind of make it a little bit better. Now you can technically ask it a variety of different questions, um, including how do I remove all the segments of the video that have no sound by clicking this here. It will give you exactly what to do uh, in terms of tips and tricks on go ahead and using different features such as silence detection. So this is another thing that we can do. So if I click on silence detection here, this will open up the all new AI text based editing. So uh, all I do is click on okay here and I'll go and start processing. Now what this is, is essentially a textbook of your video. Think of it that way. So it'll give you word by word of exactly what is happening in the video. So I, right here, it already started. So uh, this here is a caption of what is going on in terms of what am I saying. So uh, if I click on play, Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflict. Today we're doing a follow up video on our lovely Iron Man. So you've probably seen this. So as I kind of scroll through here, it'll talk about different things that are it's picking up in terms of words goes. So for instance, if I don't like this word where I say accessories, uh, so if I say delete accessories, all I do is click on the word accessories and hit delete and it'll automatically adjust the video to get rid of that part. Do give you some to go ahead and fix that. How cool is do that? Give you some to go ahead and fix that. So it literally will delete that particular segment. So I can go ahead and delete all these little dot dot dots I don't really like here. Uh, just go get rid of some of the silences, uh, and you can see kind of how it just jumps right to the next segment. So this is a great way to go ahead and edit your video, uh, especially if you have a lot of pauses or a lot of ums, different things like that. You can technically edit it based on what is your preference. So literally, it's actually a great great way to essentially edit it on the fly without much issue in terms of going and slicing and just kind of chopping up the video as you're using it. So that's actually a really cool feature. Now, if I go into export to timeline, so what this will do is let me even use it as a subtitle file. So from here, I can see how it looks in terms of subtitles goes. I can merge them together. Um, I can do different presets so I can make it look like that. Uh, I can do customize gradients, animations, um, a lot of different things that you can do, which is actually pretty darn cool in terms of editing wise goes. So from there I can hit save and I can see the whole entire subtitle on top of my video. So this is nice because a lot of people like to watch videos at mute nowadays. So I think this is a great way to go in terms of being able to utilize that. I know a lot of software don't offer that just yet. So moving on, we have some other features of this. So for instance, if I click on this video, um, I can click on AI tools here. I can do all these different things, including lens correction, stabilization, uh, motion tracking, uh, smart cutout. So this is pretty neat because there's a lot of these unique tools that I've never seen before. So if I click on uh, some of the other features in here, including thumbnails. So this is another part that I haven't really seen. Uh, it's an AI thumbnail creator. So if I click on this here, I can find a specific clip that I want, or I can use one of the ones that they generate. So if I like something like this, 
Uh, we'll go with that part right. I think right over here looks good, just like that. So if I hit current thumbnail and I hit edit, this will let me use the different templates that they currently have. So for instance, if I like something like this, it will automatically generate a thumbnail based off of that, which I can add my own things like Iron Man update. So it's actually really cool. And then you can go ahead and adjust this. You can save it as a new template. Uh, and I just love the fact that it comes with so many different things that you could technically do uh, based on your own liking, of course. So just like, we'll just do it like that. So boom. <laughs> so obviously it's really cool in terms of what you can do with it. You can save it and then you can go and export it. Um, and I mean, it makes life significantly easier when it comes to being able to utilize it for that reasoning. So if I click on AI Music Generator, so if I click on Start to generate this, um, I can pick a specific song that I like. So I want Epic, um, and then I hit Start. It will automatically start generating different results based off of the audio clip itself, which again, makes life so much easier for, for finding background music uh, and things of that nature, especially when it comes to editing wise, I can imagine it being very difficult. So using AI is a great way to go. So it thinks this is a good clip. So I'm gonna click on download and there we are. And from there, I can click on OK. And I have my clip of audio that I think would suit the best this video. Let's go ahead and talk about this thing. All right, so one thing I have to mention is the fact that this thing is absolutely beautiful. Now, it does have almost a reminiscence of a car shine paint, and I have to say they did a great job with it. That's actually pretty good. So it actually does flow with it very well. I think that's great to see. Uh, so it was able to pick a song just like that, and they have a lot of different variations. Now you have, of course, have all your fun effects that you can always use in these videos. Uh, you have your different stickers that you can apply to, like subscribe. Uh, another thing that I really like about the software is that they have a lot of different things that you can apply and create essentially a fun, unique looking video based on whatever you're trying to do. So very simple to use and very easy than unless. Now you have a lot of different things including stock media that you can technically use uh, from like you know, a few months later, explosions. Uh, these are all different fun ways to go ahead and enhance your video overall. Now. Besides that, uh, they have other including features, including like AI images. So if I click on AI images here, um, I can find different images that can work with my video uh, per se. Like if I wanted to do like futuristic and if I type in um, Iron Man flying, whatever. And if I hit start creating, um, there you can see it is in queue, please wait, etc. Once it goes through, uh, it'll generate an image, which it's doing as we speak, uh, that I can utilize in my video for future use or for this specific use. And I think that's actually pretty cool. Oh, there you go. So this is my AI Iron Man flying video. If I download that image, I can now drag and drop that as I please and utilize that in terms of like if I'm trying to describe something or whatever. So that's pretty cool that they do have that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's actually a really cool concept on how they allow you to go ahead and use AI to create such very unique effects and uh, templates overall. So that is that in a nutshell. So yeah, that is how I would edit something like this. Now, I, I really love the fact that there's this a uh, little co-pilot that lets me ask certain questions like how do I add stickers um, and when should I add them in my video and it'll give me tips based on what it thinks be is best. So to add you can use the sticker function, uh, you can easily customize and enrich etc etc etc. So if I click on the link here uh, it'll uh, show me the exact stickers where they're at and stuff like that. So here you are. So if I click on this here, um, I can hit add, Video Video honor. Honor. just like that. <laughs> uh, yes, though that is actually pretty cool that you can technically just drag and drop and see how that looks. <laughs> 
All right, and then another thing I kind of want to show you is uh, this here. So if I click on, for instance, this specific video, I can also do AI vocal remover. So if I click this here, this will erase or essentially take away all the different vocal parts of it. It's actually making it an uh, instrumental version of your video. So you can technically use it to enhance or uh, create unique ways of creating new videos based off of that so yeah there you guys have it overall a really cool concept uh definitely well worth checking out especially if you are uh looking for a quick way of editing that will enhance your video or if you're trying to find a unique way of editing your video by just using your text to speech kind of uh, method there i mean that is actually a great way to see uh there's a lot of different things that you could do with this software and i have to say it's definitely a great one than nonetheless now with that said if you guys have any questions comment down below otherwise we'll see you in the next video take care now bye bye